Hi, Beck Ann here. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Beck and Sam Crafting Fun. I'm excited I had a very busy week and I hope what I show you inspires you to make some things too. I want this to be a Sat More and Makes hosted by Jillian Norwood and also a hashtag two crafters one design hosted by Melissa of Mo Creations, Gloria of Girliest Cards, and Lisa of UCY I'm a Diva. That this week the ladies wanted all of us to play along with pumpkins. So I was really busy this week, you guys. And earlier in the week I had made these on my channel to show everybody how to do this fun fold easel side holder for calendars. And that was really fun. I actually made 10 of them and just showed a few of them to you. And I made these, I made a brighter one for those people that like want to think spring all the time. And I can um, put the link to that video down in the description box or at the end. But I made a few more of those and those were really fun to make. And I did my craft roulette card this week. That was fun to do. And I have a video. Um, I did my first voiceover, you guys, and made a video of how I put this together. So I will include that at the end, too. I also... Um, I like to do sheet loads of cards, and I was needing some birthday cards. So let me show you. Call me Crafty Owl on YouTube. She comes out every month with a sheet load of cards, and I did a rewind. I did the October 2023. Now, all you have to do to get a sheet load each month is subscribe to her channel, watch her video, and you get to download your printable. And... I, ha I keep every single one I've done, and I come back to them, and I wanted a whole bunch of cards. Now, I was, at, I was at a crafting event and did not have a lot of supplies with me, and only had these two colors of cardstock, and my friend said, good luck. She didn't think that they that was a pretty match, but I think they turned out really cute using that sketch, and I, when I came home, I punched, I did a punch, a scallop punch, and stamped happy birthday, and I had a whole bunch of greenery dies that I just will run through and and keep going with it, so I, I took some of the colors from from the card stocks and just kept running my scraps through. And then I arranged them around that scallop and added pearls. And my thread, my gold metallic thread that I like so much. And some twine. And I think these turned out pretty good considering I had didn't have a lot of supplies with me. So those were fun to make. I have not finished the inside yet, but I'm going to be stamping this sentiment here. Birthdays are the best days. That's how I'm going to finish the insides up and probably stamp some of these images from this beautiful friendship retired Stampin' Up! set on the inside, but I haven't done that yet. So, I was a busy lady. Now, I want to get to the pumpkins, you guys. Let me, I'm really excited about the pumpkins. Uh, I had been thinking about pumpkins, actually, because it is October, and it's that time of year, and I have this 1997 Stampin' Up! face stamp and I didn't buy it but I was given it and I've had it for for quite a long time a couple years and hadn't used it yet because it's kind of big and I thought I want some happy pumpkins so I used that and I'm using 
some Gina Marie dies. I used this stitched one that has a fancy stitch. If you can see that, let me pull one out for you. I think, you know, everybody should have some basic dies when you're to that point that you want some dies. Ovals are good to have, along with circles, uh, some, you know, just some other shapes, but here's the stitched one. So these are just Gina Marie dies that I had purchased from, from there. I used those, and let me show you, and I'll, I'll show you the rest of the products as I go along. Let me show you the first one that I made. This was the first cute, cute little pumpkin that I made. Now, what I decided to do, when you make your own little shaped pumpkin, you just cut out three ovals, and I thought the stitch die was really fun. So, for all my pumpkins, I'm distressing them with this ripe pers persimmon Tim Holtz ink pad. And I did all the face stamping with Memento Tuxedo. And I also, for this one, used a die. This die. I don't know where I got it. I think it came with a set of flowers, but I thought that made a great vine for the side. And I just hand cut this out of some of that pattern paper that I was using. I thought that was kind of fun. And these leaves. I did not have the right kind of leaf in my stash. So, you know, you arts create you get to be creative with art. So, I used the leaf punch from this strawberry punch set from Stampin' Up and I just drew my own little vines in there or I mean veins in there with some gel pen. And, and use some alcohol markers to brighten up the cheeks. So this was my first try. Well, after I did this one, you guys, I kept going. It became super fun. So then I made this one. Hold on, they're cut together. Then I made this one. And I just inked around every oval with the ripe persimmon ink. And this, how this is curled, for this one, I had put it on the back. I really um, decided to take my scissors and kind of cut around so it looked like the stem. But this little curl, I want to show you, when, you, when I cut this fancy die out for, for the vine, it made little curly cues, and I just cut those off and used it for the stem. And I just, I thought, oh, that's perfect. And so that was how I did that one. Now this had some texture to the to the paper, which I thought was neat that I put that on the sides and then I used the other side of that one for the so I could stamp the face and add the gel pen highlights. Well, you know, I just kept going and having fun, so I made another one in all orange. And I still inked around all the edges just to give it a little more and I kept going. I decided to use a scrap of this orange pattern paper in my stash and did that one. And I hand cut this stem out. I liked having this stem in the front. For the first one, I had put it in the back. And I feel like having it in the front makes it look like a little hat on the pumpkin face. So 
I covered this. I felt like after I made it, it just was missing something. So I took one of those leaves and put it there so it gave that kind of look that it had hair, a leaf hair, sitting there. And then I decided to go even smaller, and I did this one to have the baby pumpkin. And for this, I used the Peachy Keen Gingerbread Faces. I used this face here for the little baby pumpkin. And then this was really fun. I did one more big pumpkin. And you can tell I was getting much more comfortable and really inked the edges. And then I have a stamp. Where did I put it? Well, here it is. I have this stamp, and it's not even marked or anything, but it is a patch. So I stamped that on some green paper and fussy cut it out and glued it on and made little hatch marks like it was sewn on. And then I used a heart punch and punched a heart and and made little um, stitch marks around and the little hatch marks so that I could have a patchworked little pumpkin. So that was really fun. Now I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these. When I started making them, I was actually thinking of a little gift for my grandchildren that I was going to make a little treat bag. And I have not decided because I know that it won't, you know, like a tag for the bag is what I was going to, but they're so stinking cute, you guys, that I'm not sure if I want to give them away. I know they're easy, right? These are a very easy pumpkin project, but um, I'm thinking that I might, let me get these out of the way, I might um, make a little, take some twine and make a little banner. I have a, a hutch and I could line them up there. Um, so I don't know. What do you think? What do you think I should do with them? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for this uh, little week of crafting and I can't wait to see what everybody else makes. So until next time, I hope you are having a great crafty day, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.